A mom who fell four floors in Florida condo collapse pulled her daughter out from the rubble with a broken pelvis. As more news is revealed about the deadly Surfside condo collapse surface, more of the terror of what unsuspecting people went through is coming to light. Among the many stories, there is a particular one of a mom that shows the amazing strength and resolve she was able to show during those scary moments to save herself and her daughter. While a section of the 12-story Champlain Towers South condo crumbled to the ground, Angela Gonzalez and her teenage daughter, Devon, were inside the building at the time. It was reported that Angela fell from the ninth floor to the fifth floor during the collapse. The massive fall shattered Angela's pelvis. However, she still summoned the strength to pull out herself and Devon from the rubble. Soon, rescue crews were able to get the mother and daughter out and take them to the Jackson Memorial Hospital, according to CBS Miami. Wasn't something that I thought I would come down to this, I guess. But pick up the pieces, trying to figure out how to make this work, how to make this better than what it is, said a family friend, Lisa Melanchol, who was one among those who came to the hospital. Even though it's a tragic scenario. I just want prayers and just the best for her and her family. Based on the latest that was reported about the family, Angela's husband, Edgar still remains missing and is one among the many people who are still unaccounted for after the collapse. While Angela and Devon are still recovering, the family is hoping to receive news about the beloved husband and father, Edgar. Hope for the best, Lisa said, as quoted by New York Post. Everybody just give prayers. Everybody else's families or any colleagues or friends that were in the incidents, I wish you prayers, thoughts. And I hope everybody gets well. According to Reuters, the official death toll from the high-rise condo's collapse climbed up to 9 on Sunday, June 28. More than 150 people were still reportedly missing, and rescue crews continue peeling through the rubble to find residents, many of whom were fast asleep when their homes fell to the ground. A GoFundMe page was set up to raise funds for Angela's family as she and her daughter are receiving treatment. An update posted on the page on June 27 said, Devon is doing great. We are so thankful. She had surgery yesterday and it went well. She will have one more surgery next week to repair the leg and if all goes well should be walking, with a lot of assistance of course, by Thursday or Friday. Angela is still intubated. They are letting her sleep so her body can concentrate on healing. She is responsive when asked questions so that is great news. She will have surgery on Monday to repair her pelvis. There has not been any news on Edgar, the update added. We are still praying and hoping for a miracle. This is a strong and wonderful family. They have a lot of faith, please continue to keep all of them in your prayers.